Welcome back to the UGF Pandas. I had the bright idea to schedule the number one and the number two teams in the nation in back-to-back -back weeks. So this 0-1-1 is about to turn into an 0-3. At least they're televised though, so we're getting that television exposure up a little bit, hopefully. I didn't even realize this, but we don't play a home game until like week seven. Rip us and rip the big house. We're going into this episode knowing we're gonna lose both games, but it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. And the journey is going to be a montage of us getting slapped by higher ranked opponents. Unfortunately, in game one, we were not able to acquire enough skill points to upgrade our head coach, Tony Romo. We're a little bit overpowered right here. We got all the Ds, they got B pluses, which I think should probably be higher. I mean, it's Alabama. Number one in the nation, they should probably be like A pluses across the board. While we may take an L in the games, hopefully we can succeed in learning more about our prospects. Kyle Stevens was locked last week, but now he's good to go. He's got the A plus playing time back where he should be. Yeah, this guy's gonna be a very, very solid player. We're number three behind our rival Georgia State and the national champion, UCF. I want his zone coverage to go up though. C might not cut it. But then again, we're we're like a one-star school. We'll take anybody. Dylan Reuter. He went down overall points, but we haven't seen his throw accuracy. Who cares about spin move? This guy's got 94 speed as an athlete. He's projected to be a quarterback or cornerback that playing time should be an A+, not a B+. This guy could play anywhere on the field for us. Sign me up for a rap album. Did you hear all those rhymes? Oh, he went up five overall points. Oh yeah, this is the other guy that could be a quarterback. He has 92 speed. Throwing 500 points at James Dixon looks like it could be working out pretty well. We're number two on his board right now. And if we get a quarterback with 94 speed, there will be a party in Fairburn. Oh, let me tell you. We're also number two on Tavares Walker's board, who I think plays a lot better than a three-star. We're in the lead for his interest. I like to see that. Sam Ramirez. Yeah, we're also number one. Well, those are all the scouting points we have this week. It's still a struggle. We're level one. We need to upgrade our head coach as fast as possible so we can attack more recruits and scout them even faster. There we go. In this game, we're going to go into Tuscaloosa. We're not going to wear our white jerseys because we're trying to be as rude as possible. You guys know me in real life. I am an Auburn fan, so we're going to be trolling them. We're going to be wearing the alternates. That includes the helmet, the jersey, and the pants. And once again, the bar is shaking on us. We're screwed in this game. 94, 92, 89, and we still got our scrub players. Whoa, that guy's face isn't even rendered. That's horrifying. Oh, I love the alternate jerseys, though. These are good. This is going to be sick. Nick Saban, you're going down. Probably not, actually. Why did I say that? Yeah, I can see we're outmatched. Thanks for showing the Nissan season offensive ranks, ESPN. Here come the tide. Oh, I'll make sure I go the other way. Our goal in this game is to not win. We're just trying to lose by less than in last game, and we also want to get enough experience points to upgrade our head coach. In last game, we finished with 220 experience points, so we need to double that to get to 600 in this game. Here comes Andy Francis out here, the fattest kicker in the nation. He's a humble kicker, though. Okay, over the middle. Gotta tackle him as a team. One guy is not gonna bring the Alabama Crimson Tide down. I'm not sure who the running back is, but we're gonna have to squat up on him. Took three of us to bring him down there. I'm gonna get him, Harry Bridges! Let's go! Third and eight. We got this. Dang it, Damian Harris, why do you have to be so strong? Well, at least we're slowing them down. At least they're not having huge plays, you know? This is definitely a run, Tyson. Great, shed the block. He's like a 66 overall middle linebacker. Pump up that away crowd, let's go, Bridges. Yeah. It's a pass. That's going to be a touchdown. Yeah, there's no way we're going to bring him down in time. At least we made it a longer drive instead of scoring instantly. Oh, I hate that song so much. Coming from an Auburn fan, it, it hurts me to my core. Tennessee almost lost to South Alabama. Nice. Some people wanted the thick boy Howard Cook out on the field, but we're going to stay with Horton. Opening play. It's a read option. Don't judge me on this. We're bringing out the goal line for this second in inches play. Let's go fullback. He got it. We got him spread out here. BJ Hill, I need you to have a big game. We can't do this without you. That was that was solid. Nine yards. Run around the blitz. Run a, Never mind. That, oh, my. They're so much stronger than all of us. Denman. Great catch. Oh, I tried to spin around him. Scramble for this one. He broke one. Horton's got it. And he fumbled it. And we still have the football. Thank goodness. Negan stands across the field to pick that one up. I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, but I really like these alternate jerseys. Horton, I need you to make the throw here. We got R1. No, oh, dang it, Angle got wrecked. Do we try the fake punt with Jacob Rigdon? I see square. 
He caught it Tanner, but he's short of the first. Turnover on downs. Still a good effort. If you want to beat Alabama, you definitely got to bring out the fake punts. Where's the interception? Preston! At least he went up and made a play on the ball. He's got no hands, though. Not when he ran straight through that guy. That was okay. And he dropped it. Preston, back-to-back -back plays, forcing the deflection. Bridges. He's out of bounds, though. Fourth and ten. Bridges almost got burned. Did he get it? Burning Bridges? Okay, I'm done. We forced the Alabama Crimson Tide to punt the football. That's a victory in itself. And especially when Tanner's going to get this fire return. Whoa, the jukes. Too bad he doesn't have enough speed to go anywhere. Time for hashtag Team Too Thick Howard Cook to come in the game. Just throw that out. Oh, God. <laughs> Sacked for 11 yards. Whoops. That's pick. Yep. I should not have thrown that one. Elliot Denman with the tackle. Tyler Ruff, he, he hit the quarterback, but he's got the running back open. That's a shame. To run, was not expecting that. He swerved around my safety. Touchdown, Damien Harris. This is the triplet. Tight end. Gonna go slants. Got it off just in time. Angle. I want to beat those safeties so badly. At least we got the first. This is a Denman throw. Oh my god. Denman just ragdolled. Is he alive? I think he's paralyzed. We have more first downs than Alabama. Basically, we won the game. That's a slant route. Elliott, my man. We got this drag route, though. Negan Stance. Get up field. Stay in bounds. Touchdown, UGF. We're coming back. Let me tell you, we're coming back. Over the middle again. We hit stick him, though. Tyson has six tackles on the game. Big boy playing big. Over the middle again? No chance he's holding on to that one. He held on to it? What? Derek Keefe? That's impossible. Was this one-handed? What the? Unfair. <laughs> okay, no way we're stopping Damien Harris this close to the end zone. Texas State beat Wyoming. Who cares? Or Stance. Stance in open space again. Go out of bounds. Do not want to fumble that. He's had a pretty good game so far. We're gonna... Oh, got it through there. Where's the blocks? Triplets. Beautiful. Way to go, Andy Francis. Halftime, it's 21 to 10. We're down by 11 points, but we have played so much better in this game than we did against Georgia. Had to get rid of that one fast. Stance. Finesse your way for the first. You did it. That's a free interception. Why did I throw that? That was supposed to be my backup option, so I wasn't really looking at him. He snuck it in there. That's cheeky. Jalen Hurts, what a throw. <laughs> that was definitely not going to work. It's time to punt it. We can't go for it this deep in our own territory. He smacked him. Tyler Ruff didn't even tackle him. He just ran by him. To the back of the end zone. They did it again. They got me. The play action. Oh, that, that's the downside of having Horton in. He can't throw at all. They keep forgetting about the running back, Ryan Dingle. Oh, that was a beautiful spin move. He did three of them at the same time. I don't care if you're tired, Dingle. We need this first. Oh, my. Oh, I'm sorry, Dingle. I didn't mean to. How is his torso still attached? Yeah, I'm not surprised he's not back in the game. That looked like it hurt. Horton getting the first. Beautiful. Ah, the inaccuracy. He was open. Horton, you're failing me, buddy. Set your feet. Make the throw. We need you to do this. We're going to have to run this one. Horton's got it. Okay, if you can't do it with your arm, at least I'm glad you're doing it with your feet. That's the fourth first down in a row for Horton. <laughs> He's injured. No. Well, I did it again. We got Horton injured and didn't even take that long. Matt is right. We need the first. We need the touchdown. We got triplet. Got the first down. We did it. Another fourth down conversion, my man. BJ Hale. He's in for the touchdown. We're working in this game. 17 points is way more than I expected. Last five drives for Alabama. Touchdown, touchdown. Into the half. Touchdown, touchdown. Manning coming in. We hit him. 
Holmes could not even dive for that tackle. Derek Keefe in for another touchdown. They got 41 points on the board. He's open. Go, Engel. Go, what the heck is going on? I tried to juke him. We got 405 XP. We can continue building on this. I think we need to get some rushing yards. That might get us more XP. Horton got laid out. Ow. Hale making some work. That was the biggest play of his career, I think. 12 yards. There we go. We got some more XP for getting 100 rushing yards. That's what we wanted to do. Gonna hit the drag route. Stance, get in there, buddy. He's on the one-yard line. QB sneak all day. Get in there. Horton's got the touchdown. 91 rushing yards on the game, and we got his first career touchdown. We got 24 points. That'll end it right there. 42 to 24. Sweet. That's going to be enough to upgrade our head coach. Awesome. We lost the game 42 to 24, but wow, we improved tremendously from game one into here. And that was against the number one team in the country. We are like 60 overall. I am impressed with these players. Got enough to get to level two, which is massive. Well, Alabama beat us in terms of points and winning the game. We beat them in total offensive yards. So there's, you can decide who's the real winner here. We finally got over 100 rushing yards and we had over 270 passing yards. Player stats, Jacob Rigdon, the punter, threw one pass. It was completed, but we did not get the first down. Howard Cook came in halfway through the game, 204 passing yards, one touchdown, but he also had two interceptions. Will Horton has a very, very bad accuracy issue. He cannot complete anything, but he can scramble like a boss. 12 attempts, 91 yards for one touchdown. We also got BJ Hale, his first rushing touchdown of his career. Negan Stance is our man, especially in this game. 69 yards. Heck yeah. And one touchdown. Tez Triplett also had a great game. He's been the most consistent tight end so far. Eric Tyson, surprising. The 66 overall freshman middle linebacker had eight tackles in this game. Jalen Hurts, he torched us. Four touchdowns, rushing. Uh, once again, Damien Harris, two touchdowns. Do we need to see this? They spanked us. Derek Keefe had three touchdown receptions. Head coach Tony Romo is now level two. I don't think we need the locksmith just yet, so we're going to stick with the scouting points. Still working on our upgrades for the offensive and defensive coordinators. We have a long way to go with these guys. Checking the top 25, Alabama still at number one, clearly. And then you have Ohio State, who I think beat Georgia State, our rivals, in last game. They are also 2-0. They're about to be 3-0 when they play us. Still number two on James Dixon. This is going to be tough to take him away from LSU. Dylan Reuter's about to go to Miami if we don't pick up the pace on him. Oh, he's a gym, or kind of a gym. He went up four overall. He's a 76 overall three-star. Okay, we got him 100% scouted. Here he is, 77 overall. 87 elusiveness, 85 carrying, juke moves. Oh, we need this guy even more. 95 speed would be stupid awesome for us. Jeff Warren, please come. We need you, buddy. We're going to drop Will Horton to the second string, and Howard Cook is going to come in as a starter. Can't believe thick boy Howard Cook has 59 speed. Dude is moving out there. Oh, great. Ohio State is the highest overall rated team we've played yet. I'm sure this is going to go swimmingly. Ah, I see. We're moving up in the world. 18th in terms of passing yards. But they're besting us in uh, every category. Ah, Nick Bosa. Isn't he projected to be, like, the number one overall pick in next year's draft? Oh, Jesus. They look so intimidating. They look like an army. Once again, we're starting Cook. and we get the ball first to start this game? It's a little different from the last one. B.J. Hale got annihilated. Get in there. Bridges, what the? What in tarnation? That's going to be a touchdown. Two plays. End zone. J.K. Dobbins. Why did I put these ranked opponents on my schedule? We needed a tune-up game, not this annihilation from these top-ranked teams. But then again, when you're this bad, what is a tune-up game? Even FCS would be a challenge for us. Howard Cook, I know you're, you got 59 speed, but here we go with the option play. See, he plays so much faster than dang 59 speed. Howard Cook is a beast. Oh, they picked up the fumble. Horton got dragged down from behind. Cook's going to be out for the rest of the quarter. We got Horton from now on. Preston, he broke that tackle. He's getting around the other guy. He broke another one. Touchdown. Are you serious? Paris Campbell must be a god. He just broke off two tackles while dragging his toes on the sidelines. <laughs> they've only run like four plays. No, three plays, and they have two touchdowns. Tanner's still on his feet. Tanner! 
That was so shifty. What a pitch. I did not expect the wide receiver pitch. They 21 skunked us. Who can I pass the sticks to? Who wants it? I'm done here. <laughs> Come on. Quit being so rude. At least let us do something. If I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose on my own terms. We are not going to get blown out by 100 points. Horton. Slide, buddy. First down. Shorten this gap. That's an interception. Pick six. We got him. No, that's not a pick six. Not good day. Dang it. We, we're like we're there. Just like in the Alabama game. We're there to stop them, but they just still hold on to it. Preston in the backfield. User tackle for loss. From the back. Pulled him into the end zone. It's 28 to 0. Tight ends open. Reddick. I don't even know who this guy is. But he's got the first down. Ronnie Reddick. Almost blocked. Rigdon was shaking in his boots. Whoa, did you see Harry Bridges just get thrown to the ground? JT Barrett might take this one the distance. Holy cow. We stopped him. They're going to have to kick a field goal. It's a miracle. Look at the Buckeye trolling us over there, though. Clapping away. Yeah, you could have 35 points right now, but you got 31. Nerd. Go, Cook. Where's the downfield block? He fumbled it, but it's flying out of bounds. All part of our plan. <laughs> Triplet got exploded when he tried to catch that. Go, Negan. Keep breaking him. <laughs> Negan is a boss in open space. What a throw. Denman's caught it. 62 is blocking an invisible player. Cook. Triplets open. Touchdown. We're not getting shut out today. It looked like it for a while, but no, sir. You can't keep the UGF pandas out of the end zone. Oh, got bodied. We sacked him. Jakari McClellan. They called a timeout. Seriously? They're trying to rub it in. 31-7 to right now. This game is already over. But we're going to try to score some more points in the second half. We missed it. Why'd he dive? That's a... <laughs> oh, shoved him into the end zone. They got 45. 45 to 7. This series is just becoming a montage of the other team scoring. Oh, we almost blocked it, but we, we can't even block it. He missed it. The block. <laughs> Did you see that block? The guy got flipped over like a pancake. Break that tackle. Sweet. Get the first. Nope. Yeah, let's do it again. This has been the game plan. Okay, slant route to stance. This could be a touchdown. It is. Let's go. Stance back-to-back -back games with a touchdown. It's 14-52. That's, that's a moral victory right there, I guess. Hit him in the backfield. Tyson. That's a big-time play. That's not going to mean anything once it's all over. What? He's still on his feet? Oh, my. How many tackles is that dude going to break? Boom! That's a good way to end the game. Lay that boy out. Can't get ejected if the game is over. Opponent under 300 passing yards. That's a clean 50 XP. We lost 55 to 14, but it's technically not the largest margin of defeat that we've had so far. Howard Cook, 96 yards on the game, two interceptions. He had 65 yards on the ground, but we did not get a touchdown with him there. Negan stands back-to-back -back games with a touchdown. He's quickly becoming our number one option on offense. Tess Triplett even got himself a touchdown. Way to go, buddy. Eric Tyson, back-to-back -back games where he's led the team in tackles. JT Barrett, three touchdowns. Let's see. <laughs> the running back had three touchdowns. The receiver had 129 and two touchdowns. They had 400 total yards of offense. That is difficult to look at. We got dominated. UGF doesn't want losing to become a habit. Oh, we're already 0-3, so I don't know what you'd consider a habit, but I think we're pretty much there. Uh-oh, we got recruits ready to visit next week. That's something to get excited about. Well, we got a while to go until we hit level three, but... This episode, it, we took some L's for sure, but it was a step in the right direction because we you can't go backwards, so yeah. Our coordinators are very, very close to getting their upgrade, 
and I think I actually value the offensive coordinator upgrades more than I do the head coach. I like how we're 0-3 and I still have 100% job security. <laughs> There's really no expectations here, is there? Let's not make losing a habit, coach. Don't put the AD in awkward situation. Well, I'm the best one you got. We're gonna make this as awkward as we want to, AD. Sorry we lost three games in a row to start the season. I definitely should not have scheduled it that way, but you guys know I am not the expert. But next week, hey, this is something to get excited about. We're playing a much weaker opponent. You all Monroe, I think they're the Warhawks. They are 0-2 on the season, and they look about on our level. So next episode should definitely be way more competitive, and we will get back on all the recruits and everything. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you so much for the support on this series. You guys are all legends in my book, and as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace. Welcome to Fairburn, Georgia, home of the University of Georgia Fairburn and the hometown of all pro safety, Eric Berry. Located 15 minutes from the Atlanta airport, 25 minutes from the Atlanta Zoo, which features not one, but four.